we've been on the plane for the last, I don't know, man. 18 hours? 18 LA. hours. It's been a long transit. We did a red eye from LA to Miami, then Miami to St. Lucia. Yes. I don't even know what time it is anymore. We're so excited to explore one of the nicest places, one of the most beautiful beaches on the whole island. We cannot wait to show you. We just arrived to Sugar Beach. This is one of their pool villas. As you can see, you've got your own private plunge pool here. So those are the famous pitons. That's how our cab driver told us to say it. There's two of them on the island and we have a view of one of them right here. This is our outdoor shower. So after the pool, you can take an outdoor shower. We've got loungers over here. And then you can also order room service or meals here. You can just kind of like hang out, read a book. And then let me show you inside. So this is super beautiful. It's all white decor, which I love. It feels so like airy and light. The bed, all of our things are already packed in there. They brought in our suitcases. And then let me show you this bathroom. We each have our own sink, which Davis is happy about. And then, okay, watch this. So it is day one, but already we are preparing for our departure. We're going down, they've got testing on site here. We don't have to leave at all. We're gonna go get tested by the doctor so that we are all ready and don't have to worry about it during our trip. So you notice that we hopped in a car as we were heading to this appointment to get tested. It's because our villa is actually up on the hill and all of the villas are all on the whole hillside here at Sugar Beach. And so to get around, you jump in a car service that they just call and you go drive around. It's actually quite easy to get anywhere you need to go. And it's kind of nice because it feels like- Super nice because like I said, we have an amazing view because we're at the top of the hill, but it would be kind of hard if we had to be hiking the pitons basically every day. Yeah, so we're not, we're not hiking all the time. <laughs> we definitely have easy access to anywhere we need to go. We got our PCR test. They have a doctor here on site, which makes the whole process easy because we have to get tested to go back to the US here in a couple of days. But now we are off to breakfast, which we are very excited about and we can't wait to show you what it's like. Last night we were so tired that when we got into the room, it was 8 p.m. and we both fell asleep. We were planning to work and do all these other things. We didn't even order dinner. This all looks amazing. I cannot believe the view here. It is magic. craving coconut. And then when we're done, we can have them cut it for the meat. They'll chop it. Okay, honestly, the best part of the coconut. It is the best part. Look, watch this. Look at that. 
We have just gotten dressed up. We're heading out to dinner for date night, which is well deserved. Mm -hmm. We never go on date nights. I know, we're excited for that. We're gonna go down and check out some of their restaurants because they're right along the beach and we think they should be pretty romantic. So we called the shuttle from our butler. Can we get a shuttle to go down to dinner? And we're gonna go catch it right now. Spinach, roasted vegetables, grilled plantains, which look amazing, and then this eggplant dip, which is super fun. We're going somewhere actually super cool. It's one of their beachfront cottages. They call it the BFC which David thought was Big Friendly Cottage. They've got these amazing pools. We're going to go kind of lounge there for the day. So we're going to show you upstairs first. Okay, look at this bed. Just picture this. Laying here, listening to the sound of ocean, and then walking out to this every morning. So now we'll take you through more of the upstairs. Another huge bedroom with bathroom, of course. This is the main living room area, chill spot. You've also got dining room over here and then a huge kitchen and you can actually have a private chef here if you wanted, which sounds amazing. Over here is a kid's bedroom. Or maybe just your least favorite couple if you're coming as a couple's retreat. Or if you get in a fight, <laughs> also a good way. This is the last bedroom. Similar to the first one upstairs, but it walks straight out into the pool. This is the best part of this whole place. This insane infinity pool view. And then you've got the pitons both on each side of the pool. We are gonna hang out here for the day. We're gonna take some photos, chill here by the pool, and just enjoy it because we've got a few hours here. We've just finished up here at the cottage. We had so much fun here. It was beautiful. The sun finally came out. We wanted to spend sunset in the pool. Davis is already there. I'm gonna go join him because we need a little breather. Good morning. It is our last day here in paradise. Last full day. Our last we'll full day. We still have another day tomorrow. We have a half day tomorrow. Yes. That, I'm excited for that too, because I'm hoping that it's gonna be a little bit sunnier. Yesterday we had an amazing day of sun. Today it is actually pouring rain, unfortunately. But I am praying that maybe it's just like a little morning shower and then it'll open up for the afternoon. We have some fun activities planned for this <laughs> afternoon. Off. First, breakfast. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Easy peasy. Let's do this. Let's go, in the rain. How many drinks did you order? <laughs> Only four. Four drinks? <laughs> but I, I, they all have a purpose. I've got tea, because it's a little bit cold. It's a fresh mint tea, and then I've got coconut water because I mean we're in the tropics, and then mango smoothie because mango's in season right now, and then water just to kind of round it out. <laughs> okay. We are going to the spa. It's been raining and so we are just going to enjoy it getting massaged. We just arrived here into the rainforest spa. We're walking through this magical tunnel. It's like we're going into another world.
So the spa is located in the middle of the forest. They have all these cool bamboo stick houses that they've created in this whole village. It's secluded away from the rest of the resort. And we get to wear these really cool kimonos. Big fan of that. That was amazing. <laughs> that felt so good. You could hear some of the rain pattering on the roof and the, the birds outside. As I said, we're in the middle of this secluded area here on the resort. Very relaxing. Definitely recommend it. Honestly, probably one of the better massages that I've ever had. Yeah, I would agree. You but can even I, hear it in our voices, how no. we've changed. Our voices are lower <laughs> and relaxed now. They were really skilled though. I was very impressed. It is our last night here, and so we're sad about that, but we are going to go and enjoy every last bit of it by going out to dinner. So they've got three different restaurants here. They've got the Bayside, they've got the sushi, and one in the Great Terrace, but honestly, our meals at the Bayside have been so good that we just keep going back. That's where we're going for our last night. I'm all ready. Davis, I think, just got ready. I've been ready. Not true, I was ready first because I was hungry. Now we are just going to go and head down to the restaurant and enjoy our last night. Good morning, guys. We have woken up. It is just at sunrise. It's about 6.30 in the morning. The sun is out, and this is the best weather of the trip right now. Water of St. Lucia is absolutely electric. We finally got a beautiful day, sunny with both the batons. Now you can see this gorgeous view and the wonderful Caribbean blue that we have been seeking on this trip. Unfortunately, we do have to leave today, and so we're gonna get our last breakfast and then we gotta catch our shuttle back to the airport. Okay, what a wild and crazy morning. We were up at sunrise and taking advantage of this wonderful sun. Now we are packing up. You can see our stuff everywhere. Likelihood we'll get that done in about five minutes and then we are out of here. St. Lucia was gorgeous. They say it's one of the top honeymoon destinations and I can see why. We had some inclement weather at the beginning of the trip, but it did round off on a good note because the sun came out today. I know, we don't want to leave the sunshine now. It is time to go on to our next adventure. Honestly, it would mean so much to us if you would subscribe to our channel, follow along. We love having you on for our adventures.